After a very unsuccessful morning, it's time to do something else because the birds don't really want to fly after that attack. So what I'm going to do is get a couple of the hens out of here. I'm just feeding them now. So we've got to pick out one hen for Leo and then we've got to pick out the other hen which goes for my other Kruger cock, which they're already paired up to those two hens. So we should be able to just throw them in there. You'll see some of these birds with the yellow ring on there. My new strategy, the one I'm working towards, is inspired by these birds with the yellow rings. You'll see up there, there is one of them. I have not lost one of these birds yet, so I'm going to explain why that is, that I think it is. Yeah, it's nothing special, but that's what we're going to work because it seems to work really well here. So today I'm going to pair some birds up and also talk about the yellow team strategy that um, I'm going to start working towards. Okay, first one off the rank, Street Fighter Hen, she's been paired up with Leo. She is the mother, I only had one baby. It took me a really long time to get eggs out of her. I've had her like six, probably eight months now. We've only got one baby out of her. And that is the little baby that is over in here with the ripped out throat. Um, Cause something got to it. She's a very unique hen. Um, I call her the street fighter hen. She, she's very, like I said, very unique. I'm pretty sure her auntie might have been placed really high in um, the South African million dollar race for an Australian flyer. So she's um, got some good one loft genetics in there. A few other, a lot of, like I know pedigree, there's a lot of local one loft results in there. So we're gonna put her back with Leo because the baby that she produced is really, really tough and um, has been keeping up with all the older birds as well. And it, like I said, it's ticking boxes. So we're going to use a couple of these, let them mature out in the yellow team strategy. Hopefully that um, pays out for us. What I'm going to do, once he sees, I think he might be onto me that I've got his hen here. Um, he's going to get pretty excited, so I'll make sure I film that because it's always entertaining. What I'm going to do with the big boy is let him pick one of the free boxes that we've got here. The only reason why is because if I put him in a box he doesn't like, he'll fight another cock for another box. So. He's a fighter, he's a good cock, but he's, he's a problem when it comes to picking boxes, so. Let's watch him once he realizes that there's a hen in here. He's onto it, he's like, oh, there she is. He'll probably take her back to one of his nest boxes in a minute, so let's have a look. I just have to move out of the way of his box, see what he means, he just wants every box to himself, so I'm gonna try and pair him up with a hen on his terms. Hopefully he behaves himself. Otherwise, we'll end up with broken eggs or just too much chaos. I don't think he's getting the reception that he wanted. <laughs> She's not hopefully too keen. They were paired up just recently and they did have raised one baby. He's trying, look at him. I reckon once I get out of this loft, he might uh, Push a little bit harder to try and get her in there. He's, he's a very dominating male, like I was saying, he'll try and take every single box that he can. But I do want to do another round or two out of this little hen and him together, because I just feel like I've got a really good gut feeling about that one baby they did produce. It was there, it's only young, and it kept up with all the older birds, showed them a thing or two, um, kept up with them in all the tosses, and also made it back from 10 kilometers with um, its throat ripped out. So I'm, you know, that's, to me, is pretty special. Birds have pushed through. And the final hen that we're gonna try and pair up in here today, I've got the other pairs I wanna move in, is Little Storm. She's still here. She's the mother of the ugly hen we've got. She's a beautiful hen, this one. And there's a few babies, I think there's still three babies of hers from when she had a good season in the flying loft still, so they've been right out. So she seems to produce, but I'm gonna pair up with the last Hardy Kruger cock that I've got that I've actually not done anything with. And she is part of the yellow team as well. So she raced in my friend's loft as a young bird, and then we brought her back here and broke her in. And she's been loft flying as well. So um, I had plans to maybe race her, but 
I think I'll just loft fly her and breed her because she does produce some really nice little babies. She's a beautiful hen, perfect type. So I hope you guys are enjoying. I don't generally talk about the breeding of the pigeons. I don't think it's overly too important, but um, it's more beneficial for you guys. So this cockbird that we're about to pair this hen up with, um, he's a hardy Kruger, more off the black pearl and blue pearl line. So I've got a mix of Krugers here. Not really lighting the world on fire for me though, so not ticking enough boxes. Only the one, this hen here, she seems to be, but not these other ones. Let's put her back in there and see how they go. He's taking his nest bowl out. They were paired up, so we'll do a round out of them and just see. I actually want to have a few babies out of this cockbird just to see how they go in our next team. Let them mature a little bit. But he is super happy to have her back. He's been waiting for this. Let me put this back in there for you. There you go. Oh. Go for your life. All right, before we move in any other pairs, we've got two more to bring in, then I've got a free box. Got big Leo here. And I think he was bred in 2015, maybe. He's done pretty well for us, he's pure Leo Hermans. I'd say, well, I say he's probably one of the best Hermans that I've had, that's why he's still here. And he's bred a lot of good birds for us. He doesn't breed many bad birds not breeding super birds but the birds generally he breeds are nice and they last for a long time so they seem to outlast the falcons um so definitely some brains in there which is good to see so basically the yellow team that i bred last year were just bred a little bit too late to actually put into the race so the theory behind that is what is going on here we'll breed now just before the race season um, which doesn't bother me these birds have all had a pretty good break um, and then I'll keep these babies, we'll bring them into the loft and we'll just take it easy with them, loft fly them, grow them out for a year and then we'll race them because I've actually not lost any of the yellow birds, uh, the yellow team birds. Uh, they've outlasted all the falcon attacks, they've outlasted all the tossing. They've all been tossed out to 10 kilometers, which is not far, but um, we have not lost one after a year of loft flying and a whole bunch of tossing. So that is really good considering our the amount of birds that we have lost over the last six months we're definitely going to start working on that yellow strategy so um, i do have 400 rings coming in different colors four different colors so we're going to start having the yellow team blue team purple team whatever the color the rings are so that's basically it it's nothing special it's basically trying not to race young birds here because the falcons just absolutely destroy them you can see every young bird that's in that injured section that's been attacked by falcons had their throats ripped out, ch chest pulled apart, um, all falcon attacks. Um, they're all young, so it's a bit sad. But uh, that's where we're going to We're going to breed them, give them time to grow out, and hopefully next year we'll be able to push them out to some of the six, seven, eight hundred kilometer races. So I'm just going to give it 24 hours, I think, before I bring in those two last pairs that I've got in the box out there. They've only been in those boxes to pair up in peace they're a little bit difficult to do so um, I need to make sure that Leo is in one of these boxes when he pairs up properly with his hen which he probably should do over the next 24 hours anyway he'll he's a driver he will hound her like no tomorrow um, so we'll come back tomorrow and we'll try and bring in the other two pairs just because I need to put them in the cages and lock them in the boxes because um, I'll, I need to get them locked into those boxes and then hopefully soon we'll be able to take all the fronts off and then we'll just be peaceful and hopefully if someone will lay eggs they can there's no real pressure this I feel like this is gonna work yellow team they're still here just still in the first few birds home on the tosses I feel like that's um, going to be our best bet going forward, especially if we want to race some 600 to 800 kilometer races next year. So stay tuned. Put some comments down below. If you want to see more like this, definitely let me know.